so it doesn't seem like that long ago that we left the Auckland area and we were like yes we're leaving the Auckland area and just a short year later we're driving back into it <laughs> We're not going, yes, Auckland area, <laughs> but we're going, yes, family. Yeah. Good thing that we love our family because we wouldn't be coming back here if we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit drive straight through. Yeah. <laughs> If you haven't watched our videos before, we are a family of five who sold our Auckland home a year and a half ago and bought a massive house truck. 12 months ago, we said goodbye to friends and family and left for the South Island. We are now back in Auckland for Christmas to visit family and to explore a bit more of the North Island. The kids were so excited to arrive back in Waiuku. So we've parked up here in Waiuku outside the Nightingale truck or car museum or whatever it is because we knew that it would be a space that would fit based and then um, Marcel's old boss from Night and Dicky just pulled up <laughs> having a yarn out there I think we're going to head out either to Hamilton's Gap or Graham's Beach and um, Marcel's folks are going to drive out and see us tonight it's really weird being back in Waiuku the kids are just so stoked to be here Hello. Um, yeah. you're excited that's what happened so we are back at our home old home old home so we're at the duck pond. Oh! Marcel grew up in this area and we lived here for 12 years. The kids were all born here so this town is still home to them. What are we about to drive past kids? We headed out to the peninsula to a Park River property by the beach and to see Marcel's mum and dad, aka Nana and Papa. So we've been at this Park River property before um, with the leopards go wild and um, he was doing some earthworks and putting in this um, turning driveway I guess. So it's changed a bit, it's now $10 a night instead of 8 and he's put in a fire pit. Really cool social, um, little social shed over there. Marcel's just checking to see if the ground's hard enough. Mm. Let's just stay here the whole time we're in Auckland. <laughs> oh, Elijah, you actually got oh. me a real fright. Orange. I made him. You just... Yeah, we'll have some cash to put in there. I can't handle new. Yeah, you can do it. Can't. Yeah, I know. But, you've but I can't. It. Start it up. No, I don't know why. Start it up? Yeah. Put your foot on the brake? No! Just like you would normally. Do you <laughs> stick it into neutral? <sighs> stick it in neutral. Yeah. This? Yeah. Oh. Bring it back to the H. That? Yes. There's the H there, there's an H there. Four H, so bring it back. Oh, let me do it. Yeah. Let there it out. Go. There you go. Yeah, now push it into parking, you're right. Is that it? That's it. Are you actual serious? Yes. <laughs> oh, there's panic, oh, so you, yeah. It's so hard. So we're parked in pretty much the same spot where Marcel first put Beast's name Beast. on him, <laughs> him, her, whatever. We have our dinner in here, guys. Come on. Marcel's parents came to visit for dinner. It was so awesome to see them. <laughs> so the sixth one. <laughs> It's mine. I'm pleased you got that out. <laughs> so it's not you that's made all these holes, eh, Lolai? That's other people, eh? You haven't done any of those. <laughs> Maybe two? I've only done Okay. <laughs> so we've just discovered that the um, TV in here actually works off a generator, but there is no generator. So people must plug in their own motorhome generators or something. Don't really know. That's a shame because we were going to come and watch a movie. I've got this massive range of DVDs. Is that how it's done? <laughs> 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 
It's such a great spot here with a playground and good swimming. Some of you may remember the majestic creature that we have stumbled upon in some of our adventures. You won't believe it, but at Graham's Beach, the majestic creature found its dad. Leaving Graham's Beach today, we're going to head into Papakura Takanini and stay at Bruce Pullman Park. And um, we want to go to a church tomorrow morning in Papakura. So we're also going to do a bit of Christmas shopping and other stuff that we need to do in town. No, it's not. You shut the back door and shut the window. So we're back at night in Dickey, going to empty our rubbish and grow waste again. <laughs> funny there was a track just here where we could get to our old house just over there that's how Marcel used to walk to work um, and the kids and I used to walk back and forth on there too I was just joking that we should go sneak over our back fence and have a look but <laughs> better not yeah. so we have come to um, Hudson's Beach it's a little bit of a grey area as to whether it's freedom camping because um, we've been told by locals out here that it is but it's not on the NZMCA app but we look up the um not my sunglasses. We looked up the Wiki Camps app and it um says you can freedom camp here for a couple of nights, I think it was. Four designated parks, we're probably taking up all of them, but there's no one down here. Um beautiful spot, playground next door. Might go put our feet in the water. My son wants to go for a swim, but it's not warm enough for me. So yeah, we're um here at the beach, it's beautiful. Just around the corner from Graham's Beach at that POP where we were. We went into Bruce Pullman Park um, for a couple of days and did some stuff in Manurewa and Manukau and Papakura and stuff. Then we went to Pukekohe for two nights and then we were going to go to Hamilton's Gap but it was really, really windy, southwest winds and driving out on the peninsula was a bit scary so um, it's just a wind tunnel down there and it would have been insane. So we got here and it's windy all around but we're in a little pocket of shelter here which has been really good. Directly below the flight path of the Auckland airport though. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful spot. We've been here before in Bertha when we had Bertha and we got a leak at 10 o'clock at night and had to drive home right above our bed. And we've also been here before in Beast as well, just um, for a night once. We visited Marcel's grandparents yesterday and um, Grandma had a blanket for us. She's crocheted all the family one, but she hadn't done us one. So we have that now. So Marcel's hard at work this morning mowing our lawns. Jokes, council's doing it. <laughs> Marcel's parents came out earlier for cake and coffee. Sister and Laura sent out some Christmas cake for us. Thanks, Monique. So they went home, but they are coming back for dinner. Uh, Marcel and I got given a leg of lamb from friends in Kokoda. So he's got that in the oven, it's our first time doing a leg of lamb, so hopefully it turns out all good. We're not too sure how the temperature reads in the oven, so I think he's put on for two or three hours and it's just going to play it by ear. Good boy. Come here. <laughs> I'm not going to put you in the water, you don't need to fret. Off you go. 
<laughs> so Diesel likes to walk up on the dry sand because I think he's worried that I'm going to put him in the water. <laughs> So Marcel put the paddle boards down yesterday because we weren't going to do it today and then he changed his mind because <laughs> it's not windy out there, eh? Uh, it's not that windy, it's not like it has been the last three days. Yeah. So we are leaving Hudson's Beach, it's been a real nice spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been alright, Marcel's been bored. We're heading to the church where we parked for five months when we first bought the truck for a couple of nights. Right out here. For the weekend. Gotta stick on the zippy now. The filthy, filthy zippy. So it's pretty funny coming back here. It was really cool spending some time at our old church and park up spot. In our next video, we finally put our logo on the side of Beast and we head to one of our favourite spots, Hamilton's Gap. Thank you so much for watching our family's adventures. If you enjoy our content, please make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.